This is going to be on Blackboard later, so you can look at it. Check it out if you have any questions. Okay, so first I'm going to get my context help here. And I'm going to go... Where's my context help? Oh, it, it was on? Oh, yeah, okay, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to go right here. Now, this, this little piece of code here is actually really important. This is part of the saving function. And when you set this up, this could give you some issues, okay? Because we actually have uh, a bit of code in here. So this is F. I've said the first column in my data set is going to be labeled F. Then I've got backslash T. That denotes the tab delimiter. Then I've got V. And then I've also got backslash N. So that's code, okay? But you need to right-click on this, and you need to go under codes display, not normal display. And what that's going to allow you to do, and then you'll have to delete that. What that's going to allow you to do is it will actually turn that into like a type of code, okay? But if you don't right-click on that and go codes display, it's not going to do anything, okay? So, this next part here, this just, uh, it's write text to file, okay? So this just takes in whatever you fed it, and it outputs it to, to a file, okay? Then over here, now see these pink strings are called, or these, these pink wires are called strings. So if you know this, uh, if you notice it's a pink wire, that means you're passing text somewhere, okay? So we've basically here, we're converting our data. Um, this is array to spreadsheet string. So we're taking an array of numbers, which is a matrix of data points, and we're converting it to string so we can shoot it to a text file. Okay. So this is all a bit technical, and you can go over this later and think about it. But we're just I just want you to have this part of the code, first of all, so... Um, hopefully somebody has it. If they don't have it, I'm going to email it to you. Okay. So right here, array to spreadsheet string, we're converting numbers into strings. Okay. Because there's lots of different types of data. If you notice, each one of these is a certain color, and that means a different type of data. And if you mouse over it here with context help, this tells you what kind of data it is. So here we've got a scalar, right? So it's a 1D array of scalar values. Um, here's another 1D array. And then we're taking these two arrays, so we're taking a 1D matrix, we're taking two 1D matrices, and we're sticking them together. Okay. So now we have a 2 by whatever matrix. Okay. So this is called build array. It takes these elements and then it builds an array. Okay. So then here we're passing all this. This is our 2 by um, X array of data points, so this could be like a huge, huge matrix that you're um, sending in here that you took, and you're putting it in here. This this transposes the array, okay? Because normally, when you take your data in the uh, in lab view, it's a it's a one D array. It's so it's one row, and then it has as many columns as you have data points, okay? So, um, this is just how it keeps track of it. That's the format that it has. So then you need to, because um, you don't want to save that into a text file, you want columns in your text file, because that's how it's a lot easier to deal with it in Excel, if you have columns. Okay. So, um, you should all just have this part here. Now here, this is kind of important, because what it does is, it's let's say you just want to run the program, but you don't want to take data because you're not going to want to save data until you know what you're doing is actually working. Okay, So there's a switch here, and this allows you to just turn it off so you won't take data anymore. Okay, Now, um, in here we've got our DAC assistance. Um, for you guys, you're going to be reading a voltage, so you're only going to need one DAC assistant. Okay? So grab one DAC assistant. The first thing you can do, I would recommend, is make a while loop, okay? Then put a DAC assistant in, and then right click on the terminal, on the terminal here, and go uh, create control. So just right click, create control, 
or numeric indicator. Actually, you want to do numeric indicator because you're reading a data. So you'll have a while loop, you'll have a DAC assistant, and then you will, you'll be reading data right then, okay? So, I'm just going to pause.